Authorities in South Carolina say a woman starved her ex-boyfriend's dog for at least a month. Lawrence County Sheriff's Captain Chris Martin says Elizabeth Lena James, 30, admitted that she intentionally didn't feed or care for the dog left at her house. Martin says she later changed her story, saying the dog refused to eat the food. The 16-month-old Mastiff mix was found tied to a tree, emaciated, malnourished, and full of maggots and worms. Now called Champ, he's being treated at a 24-hour veterinarian clinic in Columbia. A rescue group says that he should weigh more than 100 pounds at his age, but currently weighs only 50 pounds. James was apparently feeding her own dogs but refused to feed Champ. Pictured her ex-boyfriend's dog because she was mad at the former boyfriend. Champ had been in James's possession for at least 30 days and she did not feed the dog the entire time. Champ was found in a near-death state last Tuesday night and was taken to a vet. These pictures taken by a rescue center show just how thin Champ had become. Champ could not stand on his own, was covered in maggots in his mouth and on his body, and needed blood transfusions, Animal Control said. James was arrested Thursday and booked into Lawrence County Detention Center. Rescuers said Champ will get round-the-clock care for as long as he needs it. She is charged with ill treatment of animals and is out on a $15,000 bail. It's unclear whether she has a lawyer. Inhumane treatment of animals will not be tolerated on my watch, Lawrence County Sheriff Don Reynolds said in a release. No animal should have to go without food and water. A Facebook page called Justice for Champ has since been created to raise money for his treatment. The rescue group posted an update about Champ's progress. The outpouring of support today for this sweet boy has been amazing. These messages have been flooding in all day, which has helped restore our faith in humanity. We are as outraged as all of you that this has happened. In fact, it makes us sick to our stomachs. This poor dog suffered unimaginable pain by being tied up and denied food, the rescue wrote. Champ has had two blood transfusions, according to the rescue center. Champ remains in poor condition, but there are hopes that he can keep strong. Champ has no body fat or muscle tone, so was given jammies to keep snugly and warm. Champ's blood work confirms his numbers are still way off and he will likely undergo another blood transfusion in the next day or so. Champ was transferred to our vet midday where he immediately started getting a blood transfusion. He was so pale with white gums that this was an obvious need. His blood work, as expected, is bad. His protein levels are too low, as was his red blood cell count. And of course, he was very anemic and loaded with hookworms. The hookworm burden was so high, the vet says his stomach is filled with tons of tiny bleeding ulcers. His blood has to be able to regenerate itself to combat this, which it currently is not doing. The rescuer said Champ is being monitored 24-7 and is on medications and IV fluids in hopes of saving his life. Although he remains in critical condition, the rescuer said Champ will get round-the-clock care for as long as he needs it, and they are hoping to add to the more than $4,000 they have already raised for his care. We do not know if Champ can be saved or if we are in time, but we can promise you we will fight like hell for him to give this young majestic dog the life he deserves, rescuer said. Champ was more than 50 pounds underweight weak and covered in maggots when he was placed with rescue dogs Rock NYC, but now he is slowly starting to eat once again. Champ's spirits appear to be improving, likely because he now feels much safer. A Justice for Champ Facebook page has been made for supporters to follow his journey.